happy Valentine's of boils and ghouls. I hope you're having a very good Valentine's Day. It doesn't matter if you're single or if you're not. If you are single, don't pout. Go out and treat yourself, okay? Because Valentine's Day is for everybody. So, my friend Marie did a Valentine's Day tag, and I thought it would be fun to do, too. So, I got all the questions, so let's play along. Number one, Valentine's Day. Overhyped or fun day to spread the love? It's overhyped. It, has, it is a commercial explosion for people to feel like they have to go out and buy a bunch of crap that nobody needs and then, you know, people get pouty or girls pout if they don't get what they want or if their boyfriend didn't give them something or I wanted that gigantic teddy bear and he didn't give it for me. He must not love me. Yeah, it's overhyped and it's, it's just a commercial Thing. I mean, you can have fun with it, but it's overhyped. So, like I said, go out and treat yourself. Don't worry about it. Number two, what was your favorite Valentine's Day memory? This Valentine's Day, because this Valentine's Day, I asked for Alice in Chains tickets, and my husband got them for me, and I have been wanting to see them for 28 years, so this is the best Valentine's Day ever. Uh, number three, conversation hearts or chocolate covered strawberries. Chocolate covered strawberries, any time of the year. Oh my gosh, I love strawberries and I love chocolate covered strawberries. I love making chocolate covered strawberries. Yeah, it's a lot better than those conversation hearts. Number four, red or pink. I love red. My favorite non black color is red. So, yeah. Number five, what is a more romantic movie, Sleepless in Seattle or You've Got Mail? My favorite is You've Got Mail. I know with Sleepless in Seattle, there's the whole end of them like meeting on top of the Empire State Building and such, but it hangs it to where you guess that they, you know, they've met their soulmate because when they touch hands, it's like magic. You know, and I, I love Sleepless in Seattle. I really do. But I remember the first time I saw You Got Mail. And when he said, don't cry, shop girl, I lost it. Actually, I still cry every time I watch it. So I think that's the best one. Don't cry, shop girl. Don't cry. Okay. Number six. Homemade or store-bought gifts? Store-bought all the way. Um, my darling husband cannot cook. And he can't really make things. And I don't really do the whole making gifts for Valentine's Day. So I'm all about if you're going to get something, you know, I mean, I guess technically concert tickets are store-bought, I guess, because they're not homemade. So, yeah, store-bought all the way. <laughs> Number seven, would you rather receive 100 roses or 100 pieces of chocolate? Well, if you haven't noticed, my waistline has expanded. I would be really angry if I got 100 pieces of chocolate because I'm trying to lose weight. And honestly, I hate like box chocolates with all the assorted because most of them are filled with stuff that I don't like anyway. Um, but instead of 100 cut roses, I would actually have rather be given some rose bushes so that I could plant them. Um, number seven. Oh, that was number seven. <laughs> number eight. Would you prefer a fancy Valentine's Day dinner out or a more laid back dinner at home? Um, in the past, I've done the laid back dinner, but... We don't get to go out very often, and I don't get to dress up very often, so I would love a dinner out. It would be nice to be able to... I actually own a dress. Yes, it's black. Don't freak. Um, but yeah, I would love to put on my little black dress and, and go out. Mm. Number nine. What's your love language? Physical touch, words of affirmation, quality time, acts of service, or gifts? For me, uh, uh, three out of the five. Um, words of affirmation. I constantly tell my husband that I love him. And I mean it every time. It's not one of those, you know, uh, 
things that, you know, becomes perfunctory after a time. I mean it every time I say it. Um, I tell him what a good husband he is. Uh, quality time, definitely. I love spending time with my husband. And acts of service, yes, I love doing things uh, for my husband. And so, yeah. Okay, number 10. What Disney prince or princess is your spouse most like and why? <sighs> I don't really think. Matt reminds me of any of the Disney princesses. Um, and I don't think that he reminds me of a princess either. So I might kind of have to skip that. I don't know. Okay. My friend Marie said Jack Skellington. And I guess I might have to take that because... If Matt and I are anybody from Disney, it's going to be Jack and Sally. Especially the fact that we are obsessed with Halloween, but yet when Christmas comes around, it's like, what's this? What's this? <laughs> we love putting up lights and, and enjoying Christmas and still keeping the, the spookiness about us at the same time. So, Matt and I are Jack and Sally. So... There you have it. There's the 10 questions for Valentine's Day tag. I hope that you have a fantastic Valentine's Day. I'm not going to tag anybody, but if you want to play along, I'll put the questions down below and you can go through and answer the questions. If you do make a video, let me know and I'll see you later. Goodbye.